Yo, what up everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer. I'm back again. Soul Hunters, we've got a brand new hero into the game. Check it out right behind me. Afrit. Afrit. Uh, I can't even say the name. <laughs> it's funny to me, but anyways, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, guys. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna finish this guy off, completely boost him up. And look at this. We're gonna go in, we're gonna 7 star him right now, so let's not waste any time. Uh, this is gonna be a long video, I think. So, let's just go ahead with the promotions here. I'm just gonna go ahead and promote him all the way. Promotion in the ocean! Look at all that gold requirements. Alrighty then, so here we go. 7 star Afrit right there. Afrit. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying this guy's name. But anyways, so it's kind of a strange, strange hero. So <laughs> it's a literally a treasure chest and the hero is lurking inside of it with a sword. <laughs> Funny. But anyways, I'm going to begin the fusing now and uh, let's see how far I can take him. Alright, so the fun stops right there. Orange plus one. I've got to get them. I got to get all these other items for them, which I I will. I got all the boxes for it anyways. So as a treat, we're also going to start his awakening, guys. So we're going to do him and his awakenings all at once. So this should be quick. I think we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go right into the awakening right now. So let's not waste any time. Afrit. Okay. Now I got to get his item. All right, the power of the celestial potion compels me, and I've got it. So here we go. Instant craft, bang, item complete. Part one is done. Part two, the dojos. No! 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 So the awakening will have to wait, guys. That's gonna come in a different video. <laughs> Dang it! That kind of sucks. I was looking forward to awakening him right now. So then in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna just finish him off right now. Let me give him what items he needs. Give him this, give him this. Let me see. Crate and talisman and primordial stones. All right, let me get those quick. All right, here we go. I got those. Orange plus one and orange plus two. Now, what are we going to need here? Some more primordial stones and some staff of illumination there. So let me get those. Boy, my editing skills are definitely being tested right now. So, here we go at red. Alright, so let's give him this. Let's give him this. We're missing a few stuff here. Scepter of Truth. A couple of Scepters of Truth. A couple of different items there. So, I'm going to wait and do those at a different time right now. But for now, let's get into this guy's abilities and see what he's all about. So, in the meantime, I've already maxed out his ultimate guys so you guys will see that in action and i'm also i've got 80 points let's max this one out because this one only goes up to 60 and then i guess we'll put 21 into this one here don't know what they do just yet i have not really looked at them that much so let's go ahead and break this down first ability afrit appears and enters a state of rage significantly increasing casting speed and strengthening other abilities Increase the speed by 52.5%. Alright, that's pretty good. That means uh, time. So, pretty much one and a half times extra fast casting his abilities. Okay, not bad. But that's not that great of an ability. If, hmm, it's kind of weird. Why is that his ultimate? Kind of like a transformation. 
Afrit, this is his second ability here. Afrit smashes enemies with a crown, inflicting damage and temporarily stunning them. After the ultimate has been upgraded, Afrit summons a treasure chest, causing damage to enemies within range, stunning them and lifting them into the air. Alright, so this is not bad here. A stun ability. Uh, does, is that multiple stuns? We'll have to check that out. Third ability, Afrit summoned flying daggers to hit faraway enemies, ignoring shield effects and also causing damage to an enemy in the way of, of the target. After the ultimate has been upgraded, damage is increased. So everything is all about his ultimate. You must upgrade his ultimate here. Final uh, fourth ability here, Afrit summons ice crystals to attack enemies. Tank heroes hit by the crystals are charmed. Whoa. And DPS heroes are silenced. After the ultimate has been upgraded, uh, effects are inflicted upon enemies within range. So this seems pretty good here. Charmed, uh, charms tanks and then uh, it silences DPS heroes. Huh, that could be really good. All right, let's go on to his awakened ability here. When enemy heroes who are not concealed threats come close to Afrit, his dodge rating will be greatly increased uh, for three seconds. After this, the hero will be uh, engulfed, ignoring any immunity effects. While being engulfed, the enemy hero will take damage, and any enemy who has a special effect upon death will not inflict their effect if they die while being engulfed. What? While engulfing enemies, Afrit recovers health and is uh, immune to control, but cannot move or attack. Alright, so let's break this down here. So, when enemy heroes who are not concealed threat. So, this is talking about somebody like Volko, I'm guessing, who goes into like a stealth mode. But, if anybody gets close to him, this guy is gonna, his dodge rating is gonna go through the roof for 3 seconds. And after that, he's going to engulf the enemy, I'm guessing he's gonna eat them up. Um, yeah. Ignoring uh, any immunity effect, so not they cannot be immune to this while they're engulfed the enemy hero will take damage So while they're being engulfed, they're gonna take damage and any special death up So any special effect that they have while they die will not affect so I'm thinking of somebody like Druluth right now if this guy engulfs Druluth um, You know that ability that he has that once he dies it just causes a lot of damage that will be negated So that's pretty good and then uh, Afrit will recover some energy while this is happening. Okay, so actually that seems pretty good, guys. Not bad at all. Kind of impressive. I'd love to see this guy in action to really see what he's all about. So let's go ahead and see him in some battle. All right, so we're about to enter a battle, guys. And I can't help but notice that this guy looks a hell of a lot like Aqua. And I'm going to put both of them on the battlefield here as a kind of a test. Let's just see the similarities. So, Aqua turns into a genie, obviously. And uh, Alfred is staying in his tank mode. There's the sword. Wow, that actually did a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. That was a lot. Alright, here's the ultimate here. And there he is. That's his real form there. Yeah, it looks a lot like Aqua. Kind of not really, though. He looks a lot more stronger, a lot more buffer, I'm thinking. And he's definitely stronger. Really, really strong. Wow. So I'm going to retreat here and go back in this battle, guys, because I'm, I want to see him by himself. All right, now let's do the real test here. All right, here is a basic attack there. Boom! 36,000. That was not bad at all. And this is the sword. Boom! Wow! Now ultimate is going to come out of his box. Genie. And now he's going to... Booyakasha! So his casting speed should be a lot higher at this point. There he throws a treasure. There he throws a sword. All right. I'm impressed. Oh, I kind of like what I see there, guys. Hmm. Kind of impressive. So let's do this. Boom. Here we go again. Haste. So he's in a haste mode. He should be going a lot faster. Boom, boom, boom. He's going to die here, though. Too many enemies. That is a lot of damage there. Namtar is the only thing behind. So once he gets his ultimate off, it seems like his energy does not go down, guys. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, no, he did change. But why is his ultimate not changing? Hmm, I want to test that out again here. All right, so this time I'm in with a tank just to see this ability once again. Uh, for some reason, the energy did not change the last time. So here we go. Boy, that is a very powerful attack there with that sword. I got to read that one more time. But that is very, very strong. Now, I understand this is a campaign, but I'm very impressed. 
All right, let's see now. Let's go into his ultimate. All right, never mind. I'm guessing he got his uh, energy that time because he was killing everybody, just like now. So yeah, so he kills everybody. He's in the state for a certain amount of time. It doesn't really say how long. But he's only there for a certain amount of time. Does a bunch of damage though. Okay, we don't need to see no more. Let's go back to his portrait. All right, so now that we've seen those in battle, I want to take a look one more time here. This is the one that I think uh, I was looking at there with the sword. Uh, after summoning flying daggers to the faraway enemies, ignore shield and cause damage to enemies. So it doesn't really say how long his ultimate lasts for, but it really doesn't matter. I think it lasts long enough. Uh, in my opinion, this guy seems like a complete arena hero. Don't really see him used anywhere else, to be honest. But I think he's impressive. I think this guy can definitely di dish out a bunch of damage, guys. Hmm. Heroes in the back row are skilled in controlling the enemies, the enemy, and are particularly terrifying in a state of rage. Really, really weird there. A uh, magic attack hero. Got a decent amount of magic attack there, I read. So I'm actually curious to see what happens when I take him to red plus one and I upgrade all these abilities. I'm definitely going to put a pet on him, guys. And speaking of pets, I've got two pets in the hatchery right now. You guys can kind of take a look at who they're going to be. Take a guess. Wink, wink. Coco, the new hero is coming out. And I know I told you guys I was doing a orange pet video, which I'm going to be doing as soon as Coco is hatched. So I will be letting you guys know what the best orange heroes are. So stay tuned for that. I promise that's going to be coming out. And uh, as for Alfred here, I gotta also awaken him as soon as I can. Seems like at this point, either tomorrow or Sunday, I'll be able to awaken him. We'll see when the dojos are unlocked. But for now, this guy actually seems pretty promising, guys. I like it. I can't wait to build some teams with him and see what this guy is all about. So for now, I'm gonna end it off here. I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.